Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome to the RenewEnergy.com YouTube channel, where we explore the latest in renewable energy and sustainable technology. Today, we're tackling a question that has sparked debates in green energy circles, fuel cells versus HHO gas, which hydrogen tech will power the future? To answer this, we'll dive deep into the science, applications, and potential of both technologies, examining their strengths, weaknesses, and roles in the global energy transition. Hydrogen, the universe's most abundant element, is seen as a cornerstone of the green energy revolution. Its versatility is unmatched, capable of fueling vehicles, generating electricity, and even heating homes. Both hydrogen fuel cells and HHO, hydrogen-hydrogen-oxygen, gas technologies leverage this potential, but they do so in fundamentally different ways. To determine which has the staying power to dominate the future, we must explore their inner workings and evaluate their real-world implications. Hydrogen fuel cells represent the pinnacle of zero-emission energy generation. These devices operate by converting hydrogen gas into electricity through an electrochemical reaction with oxygen, emitting only water vapor and heat as byproducts. This technology is central to the hydrogen economy, a vision of a world where hydrogen replaces fossil fuels in transportation, power generation, and industry. Fuel cells have already found applications in vehicles like the Toyota Mirai and Hyundai Nexo, as well as in stationary power systems and even forklifts used in massive warehouses. Fuel cells have several key advantages that make them a compelling choice for a clean energy future. First and foremost, they are truly zero emission, meaning they release no greenhouse gases or air pollutants during operation. This positions them as an ideal solution for tackling climate change and improving air quality in urban areas. Moreover, fuel cells are highly efficient, converting up to 60% of the energy in hydrogen into electricity, far more than traditional internal combustion engines. They also offer scalability, powering everything from a single car to an entire power plant, making them suitable for a wide range of applications. However, challenges remain. Producing green hydrogen, the kind made from renewable energy sources, requires significant infrastructure and investment. Currently, most hydrogen is produced via steam methane reforming, a process that emits carbon dioxide. Transitioning to green hydrogen will require advancements in electrolyzer technology and the expansion of renewable energy capacity. Additionally, the storage and transport of hydrogen pose logistical hurdles, as the gas needs to be stored at high pressures or cryogenic temperatures. Despite these obstacles, the momentum behind fuel cells is undeniable, with governments and companies worldwide committing billions to hydrogen infrastructure and technology. On the other hand, HHO gas technology takes a more incremental approach. HHO generators produce a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen gases through the process of water electrolysis. This gas is then injected into an internal combustion engine's air intake, where it enhances the combustion of traditional fuels like gasoline or diesel. The promise of HHO technology lies in its potential to improve fuel efficiency and reduce emissions from existing engines, offering a practical, low-cost retrofit solution for vehicles that aren't ready to be replaced. HHO generators are marketed as a way to reduce fuel consumption and emissions without the need for a complete overhaul of our energy systems. By injecting HHO gas into the engine, the combustion process becomes more efficient, leading to a cleaner burn and slight gains in fuel economy. This can be especially appealing for regions where older, high-emission vehicles dominate the roads. HHO systems are relatively affordable and easy to install, making them accessible to a wide range of consumers. However, HHO gas technology has its limitations. The energy required to produce HHO gas comes from the vehicle's alternator, which draws power from the engine itself. This additional load can negate much of the efficiency gains, raising questions about the overall energy balance of the system. Furthermore, while HHO may reduce certain pollutants, it doesn't eliminate them, as the engine still burns fossil fuels. This makes it a less sustainable option compared to fuel cells, which generate no emissions at all. The debate between these two technologies ultimately boils down to their purpose and scope. 
hydrogen fuel cells are designed to replace fossil fuels entirely, enabling a complete transition to clean energy. They represent a long-term solution, albeit one that requires significant upfront investment and coordination. HHO gas, by contrast, is a stopgap measure, a way to make existing engines slightly cleaner and more efficient while we work toward broader adoption of zero-emission technologies. To decide which hydrogen tech will power the future, we must consider the broader context. The global push to decarbonize transportation and energy systems is accelerating, driven by urgent climate goals and advancements in renewable energy. In this landscape, fuel cells have a clear edge. Their ability to provide clean, scalable power aligns perfectly with the needs of a low-carbon economy. As green hydrogen production becomes more cost-effective and hydrogen infrastructure expands, fuel cells will likely play a central role in reducing emissions across multiple sectors. That said, HHO gas technology shouldn't be dismissed outright. While it may not be the ultimate solution, it can serve as a valuable bridge, helping to reduce emissions in the short term as we transition to cleaner systems. For older vehicles and fleets where full electrification or hydrogen conversion isn't yet feasible, HHO generators offer an immediate, if modest, improvement. In conclusion, both hydrogen fuel cells and HHO gas technology showcase the incredible versatility of hydrogen. However, their roles in the future of energy are distinct. Fuel cells represent the clean, scalable solution needed to achieve long-term sustainability, while HHO generators provide a practical, short-term option for improving the efficiency of existing systems. The true answer to the question, which hydrogen tech will power the future? Maybe both, each playing its part at different stages of our journey toward a greener world. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of hydrogen technologies. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest innovations in renewable energy. For more details and to explore these technologies further, check the links in the description below. Together, let's build a brighter, cleaner future for generations to come. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.